when they built the Cooper Mansion, all the brick in the building was made of brick. And even the, the basement floor was brick. And the brick were made, and I don't know where it, it is, but I, this is from hearsay. The bricks were manufactured on the road across the street from the house down in the, by the river. Somewhere down there, there was a brick factory, and the bricks for that mansion were made there. The mansion itself was very unique because I put plumbing in it for the first time. And it starts out at one depth in the basement, and when it gets to the first floor, it goes bigger on the floor, the wall gets thinner. It starts at 18 inches, goes to 12 inches, then it goes to 8 inches, and then it goes to 6 inches. And so when you were doing anything, you had to be cautious of where you were going because you might miss it by 3 or 4 inches. And when I put the bathroom in, the, the people that by the name of Pinckney had purchased the thing and lived there, and they insisted that I, it was all ornate moldings around that were all there and all the baseboards were multi built up molding thing that I couldn't destroy those. You try putting a bathroom in a house without taking the walls down and I ended up making a drill so I could drill from the attic down through the, the second floor to the first floor and then from the first floor down to the first so that I could drill the dropped the pipe down there, which was the first place I ever used copper tubing, because I could fit it in the wall, just, and whatnot. But I could take the baseboards off, but I couldn't do anything else. The baseboards were made out of five different pieces of molding, all laminated together, that made a baseboard about almost a foot high. And all the rooms in the house were done like that. But uh, it was uh, really well put together. And in the attic, there was the room where the slaves slept, but the attic was all finished off too and whatnot. But, uh, and they had a slave entrance that they could get down to the back and then the main corridor to get from the room to room and whatnot. Very interesting house. I don't know what it's like now, but it was at one point it was quite, but they had a fire. And after the fire, when the pink trees were there, a lot of the moldings got destroyed in the fire, but they redid it and they went up, but they didn't put the moldings back because they were all Real, and then they had the like in the centers, they were the circulars and whatnot. Beautiful, really.